Hey guys, it's Christy and today I am going to do a current favorites video. I have not done one of these in a long time and I decided that maybe I should because now I have like all new favorites. Guess what Oreo's eating in the background? I bet you'll never guess because he's always such a good boy and never does anything wrong. Can I have that? Okay, so let us jump right in because <laughs> Oreo. Okay, first favorite avocados i love avocados i could eat one every morning and like not get sick of it i like to open the avocado and like you know put it in slices and put it on the arnold sandwich thins they're just like round little circles and i put that on and i like to put a hard boiled egg like i like to slice a hard boiled egg and put it on top and if i'm in the mood i will put a little salsa on top too and that's like my absolute favorite breakfast Hands down, could never get sick of it. My next favorite is this Camelback water bottle. It is 50 ounces. It twists off and pulls. And it has like the little top, but it doesn't come out too fast. Um, it says there is a magnetic quick stop stow cap. I have no idea what that means. But in my head, it means that it makes the water come out slower into your mouth. <laughs> I have no idea. I personally love bottles that have straws in them and um I was a little like wary of trying this one because like it doesn't have a straw but I like that it has this little like holder thing and that it's 50 ounces because I find when I go out I usually I used to take like my swell bottle and I believe that was 16 ish ounces and that would never be enough water for me for the time that I was out I would always want more so I'd like go buy another bottle of water or something like that and that was like kind of defeating the whole purpose of having a bottle in the first place so 50 ounces of water gets me through the day and I also like to know that like if I drink at least one of these that you know I at least got 50 ounces of water and that's always a good thing stay hydrated kids <laughs> my next favorite which is, should come as absolutely no surprise is my kindle paperwhite and i recently put like a little sticker on this was like i heart elephant it's so cute i forget it came with like i don't know a phone case or something that i bought and i didn't know what to do with it i saw someone on litzy put it on their kindle case and i was like oh my gosh what a great idea i'm going to borrow that idea so here it is i absolutely love the kindle white um i've been getting a lot of headaches again recently um i used to suffer from them really bad when i was in high school and i hadn't been getting like really like bad ones i get migraines too but lately they're just they've just been like really annoying headaches you know that like it's there and it's frustrating but like you don't really want to take medicine for it because i don't know i don't want to but this Kindle White is great because it does not give me, like, I call it a screen time headache. You know, like how they have the, um, you know how people get headaches from being on screens too long? Well, clearly, like, I blog and I edit videos and, like, I'm on a screen a lot of the time of day. So this is a nice change to reading on the iPad because that, like, tends to lead to more headaches. I love the Kindle because it is so easy also to put um, e-arcs from like NetGalley or Edelweiss or wherever on here. You just hit the little like send to Kindle button and like here it is. And I love that they have the ebook deals. Like every day they have so many books that are like from 99 cents to like I don't know 4.99 and those deals literally get me <laughs> like every time i have so many books in my kindle just from like kindle deals so second favorite um, so third favorite my kindle my next favorite is my nintendo switch i absolutely love this thing i got it as a christmas gift and it is very addicting <laughs> i try to limit my playtime because headaches so you know this is a screen and it gives me headaches sometimes right now so I was just like completely obsessed with um Stardew Valley and I played that that game sucked me in so bad but I have taken a break from that and I have been playing Monopoly which I got as an Easter gift and when I was younger like fun fact I used to play Monopoly like by myself nobody wanted to play with me because 
I mean, it's a really long game and like it was pretty much just like me and my mom. My brother was so much older, like he had already moved out by the time I like got to that age. And I would literally like play with my stuffed animals. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm gonna stop right there. Nintendo Switch, love it, portable, great. Absolutely amazing, especially when I go to my mom's house and I'm like just looking for something to just, you know, kind of waste my time with. It's always the Nintendo Switch. My next favorite is a bookish site. It is Bookish First. And on Bookish First, I know I have said this so many times, like I've talked about this site a lot, and now I feel like I can definitely recommend it to you guys. It is a site where you can be put into a raffle to win either advanced reader copies or sometimes you get like a full copy. Okay, so for example, these are just, just like two of the books that I want and I've been pretty lucky on that site, I will say. How to Walk Away, and that one, see this is an advanced readers copy, it comes out May 15th, and then this one's Fury Born, and this one comes out May 22nd, this one also I got sent an advanced readers copy, but this one, your one and only, I got sent a finished copy, so that's pretty cool. Like, you don't really know what you're getting, if you get it super quick, it's usually um, an advanced readers copy. So what you do on the site is you go, you see what book is up, book or books are up for raffle that week, and you write your little first impression on it, and then you are entered into the raffle. When you win, you have to, or like, pretty much the whole reason for this is to review the book that you win, post it on there, and then every time you share that review, you get points. So when you post your review to there, you get points. When you share your review on Amazon, you get points. Barnes and Noble, you get points. Goodreads, you get points. Blog, you get points. Um, I forget where else I share it, but you get points for all of that. When you reach 2,000 points, you can like claim a free copy of the book that they are doing whatever week. So like you can save up your points and just enter the raffles if you're like kind of interested, but not like 100%. But this one, I used 2,000 points and I claimed this one because I really wanted to read it and it was on there and I was super excited. So, bookishfirst.com, I will leave a link down below. Sign up, enjoy, write your reviews, post them online, help authors out. You know, us readers go do our part too. My next favorite, and I'm almost to the end here, is my new Bible. I'm not gonna go like crazy into it. It's just the She Reads Truth Bible. It's a Christian standard Bible. I got it in the poppy color. I love it, it's a journaling Bible. So there's like huge margins to write in. And specifically, I wanted to color code my Bible. I don't know if you can really see, but you know, there's a lot of colors in there. And I use my little Bible highlighters from the Studio Series. I got them at Barnes & Noble, which is actually where I got my Bible as well. And I use each color to represent something different in the Bible. So like, just a little like, that's what I do. And you know, you can pause and whatever, but yes, I'm really enjoying reading my Bible and color coding it. It just like, is making it more fun for me and it is helping me to understand a lot more. And my last favorite, which is actually like a couple of favorites, but I'm considering it one, it is my planners. I've talked about my planners so many times. I'm going to have flip throughs of the wall. Some of them I already do. Oreos eat the pillow. That's okay, we're just gonna let them be. <laughs> I have my mini happy planner. These are all happy planners. So my mini one is in the deluxe cover and I use this as my social media planner and my on the go planner. So like I have all my appointments in here, my social media and whatever else I decide to put on that little calendar. I use this one for decoration too. Like on the daily pages, I just like decorate the crap out of it because that's how I like to be creative. <laughs> my next one is my classic size happy planner and I just have like one of the little planner bands on it for it to stay closed and this is just a little um, paper clip from Hobby Lobby I believe. This is my home planner, my fitness planner, my meal planner, my recipe planner, uh, my weekly to-do lists and whatnot. I have a whole video on this that you can check out and my last one is my faith 
planner but I use it as a journal and I'm going to be filming a, a flip through of this I haven't yet because I was just like trying to figure out how I wanted to do it this is the big happy planner and I have the mini rings on this one I like switched them around I just have one of the little happy planet bands on here and yeah that's my planner life I absolutely love planners but those are my favorites for I don't know these some of these have been favorites for like a couple of months some of them have been favorites for like a year I mean I haven't done one of these in a long time so I had a lot to share with you guys I hope that you guys enjoyed if you use any of this stuff and have any recommendations of more accessories for things aka the planner or games nintendo switch or like any more bookish sites let me know down below if you have any questions let me know down below or on twitter and i will see you again soon see ya